Howdy y'all, I'm Will with She Says Boots, and a lot of people will try and tell you that you need a whole bunch of products to keep your boots in top-notch shape. I'm here to show you, you don't. A few simple tools is all you need. Top-notch leather balm or conditioner, a horsehair brush, and an old rag. We don't have to overcomplicate it. Cowboy boots have a whole bunch of oils already built into them through the tanning process. It's your job to keep them clean and conditioned so they maintain their natural pliability. In this video, we're gonna cover just a few simple techniques that'll help you keep your boots in top-notch condition for decades to come. All right, first thing we're gonna do is start with that horsehair brush. Now, one of the things you wanna keep in mind when you take care of your boots is how often should you condition them? The straightforward answer is not that much. You can actually over condition your boots and put too much moisture in them. That's gonna create its own problems where they might crack and, uh, and lose some of their strength. But a horsehair brush is your best friend. You can brush them as much as you, as much as you want. This is gonna lift off most of the dirt. It's gonna bring, uh, restore some of the luster to it. Again, there's a lot of oils built in here already through the tanning process. You know, you can brush them as much as you want. You're not gonna hurt them. But you can actually over condition. What you're trying to do here is maintain an equilibrium of moisture and oil in the boot without overdoing it and without letting them dry out. So you should condition them, you know, once every three to four months with normal use. You know, if you're beating them hard, maybe you could do it every one or two months, tops. But honestly, you know, no matter what I do to my boots, I just condition them once every three months. I've got a calendar reminder, it just pops up. And another note on brushing is uh, you don't have to worry about the technique. You're not gonna hurt the boot. You know, just do what's easiest for you. You can do it sideways, you can do it with the grain, against the grain. It doesn't really matter. Now what does matter is not using any water. So some people recommend using water, especially if your boots are muddy. I recommend against this. Water will work to lift the oils out of the boot, out of the leather, and then eventually that then dries out the boot and can cause it to crack. Same thing with silicone-based products. So when you're using a conditioner, look at the ingredients. You don't want anything with silicone. You don't really want anything actually even water-based. The, the best things are just natural oils um, and waxes like carnauba wax. You can look at things with like beef tallow. These types of ingredients help rejuvenate the leather. They bring back the oils that it needs and helps make sure that they maintain that flexibility so they can mold to you over time and they can be resistant against scuffs and scratches. You'll see after a good brushing, they look pretty awesome already. Um, they don't, you know, this is why like, you, can, uh, you can brush them as much as you want and a lot of times that's all you need. Now, one quick note, uh, if you're wearing a pair of Chisos boots, which of course have a full leather insole, they also have a removable comfort insole. Set that aside, you know, you should really pull that out every night. Uh, it helps the boot breathe, it helps again, get all that moisture out uh, from you wearing them. Uh, moisture is the enemy in that regard. So, I go ahead and pull them out while I'm cleaning the boots, uh, and I set them out every night. I gotta breathe. Slow down a little bit. All right, so the next step is to go ahead and apply your conditioner or leather balm. Now, we've got one here at Chisos, which is great for all finished cowhide leathers, as well as exotics, uh, but that's all the product placement I'm gonna make you suffer through. Now, you can apply this with your hands. That's what I like to do. You can also apply it with the rag, uh, which helps to get out really stubborn dirt. That's why instead of using water, you can just use the rag and the conditioner uh, to get out any of that excess mud that might be caked on. Now, because these were a little extra dusty. I'm actually gonna go over it lightly with the, uh, with the rag here. What I'm doing is getting it into all those seams. I'm making sure I rub it onto the edges of the welt, or excuse me, the edges of the sole. I'm not trying to remove it all yet. We're still gonna let it dry on. But I wanna make sure that all of it's covered. And I actually, I'm gonna get a little extra here on the rag itself, because I see some spots that I wanna get. 
See, there we've got some dried on mud. You can also give a very light coat to the sole. Again, it's leather, flexes, takes most of the beating that you subject your boots to. You don't need that much. You know, about a, probably a half dollar's amount per boot. Again, you don't want to over condition. You don't want it to feel clammy to the touch. Um, but you should be able to already see a difference as those oils start to get in there and rejuvenate. It may darken it just slightly at first. And so sometimes I recommend with a, a new conditioner product, test in the conspicuous area, let it dry, make sure it doesn't do any, uh, permanently alter the leather. But usually, you know, with, a, with a, you know, something like Chisos' balm, when it dries, uh, it's gonna look basically like it was when you bought it. Now, I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna let it dry. Um, some people recommend that you let it dry overnight. I think that's excessive. Uh, really, you just need to dry the touch, which in my experience is about 30 minutes to an hour. Clock, 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 clock. While that's drying, a couple more uh, quick tidbits. So your core is gonna be your balm, your brush, and your rag. There are a couple other things that you could add. Uh, there's more of a tightly wound type brush. This is more of like a rough out or suede brush. Sometimes you might wanna use something like this for that welt stitching or above the heel rand to get some of those harder to reach spots. That's optional. Uh, I also use a lighter. Uh, this is for getting the fray uh, strings or, or that may develop over time. Sometimes the, the stitching um, will have a little piece that stick out. It's nylon, so if you get the flame near it, it'll really kind of cinch you up. You don't want to go all the way through some of the stitching or the embroidery, but that's kind of for the touch-ups. And then uh, once they get really beat up, sometimes the edges of that, uh, the welt and the sole will start to, to scuff. And so there are edge dressings that you can get either in a brush form or in a uh, kind of like a, a little roll-on form. Um, usually this is more for a pair of black boots, but sometimes you might want to darken up your, uh, your brown boots as well. All right, we've given those time to dry off. The next thing I always do is uh, go back with the horsehair brush. This is gonna distribute what is left of the conditioner that hasn't dried, so this is great. It also knocks off any last dirt and uh, goes a long way towards Restoring the shine. Now, you can stop right there, uh, but the final touch would be to hit it with that rag again to kind of bring out a gloss. You can do this, you know, holding it like this, um, but what I find is easier put the boot on, uh, kind of like you're getting a shoe shine. This enables you to bring out that deep shine from the, from the leather. Again, we haven't used any polish on these. Now one last thing, we've already pulled the insole out, but for storage, I would put the uh, paper back in that your boots came with, or a cedar boot tree. This helps, it absorbs any excess moisture when you're done wearing them. Let's look at the difference. Not bad for a few minutes work. Now to recap, high-end leather balm, a horsehair brush, and a rag, that's all you need. Uh, no silicone products, no water, and condition once every three months. Don't overdo it, you don't need much. You know, cowboy boots are an investment and a little bit of maintenance goes a long way. You know, with the right care and treatment, they'll last for decades. You can resole them, but you can make sure that those uppers stay in good condition. You know, our Chisos Balm is available, of course, at chisos.com. You can use it on cowhide boots and you can use it on your exotics like ostrich or gator. But any other comments or questions, just put them below on the, on the YouTube video and we'll jump in and answer them for you. Thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you all around.